Oh, you're ready now. <laughs> Let's do that again. No, I can't. Hey, I'm with. All right. In fact, me. Feliz Navidad, mi amigos. Joyeux Noel, uh, mes amis. What's the other one? Felice Natale, mi amici. And, oh, in German? No. They haven't got a word for happy or friends. <laughs> so happy Christmas to all our friends, except the Germans. Oh, no, I shouldn't say that. Yeah. God oh, bless Achtung, it. as they like to say. <laughs> um, but what is it with the German markets, Lee? I don't know, Timmy. Maybe the Nazis are reinvading <laughs> no, <they're>, again. <laughs> every year. <laughs> Every year this gets on my nerves. Let's go to the German market. Well, you can have mulled wine at the no-name fine establishment. Mulled wine. For half the price. To the gentry, for half the price. But what's... I mean, Germans and Christmas, it's goodwill... Peace and goodwill to all men. Mm. Germans, I don't think they mean that. What about the women? No peace and love to the women, Tim. (coughs) Not it all men. All right. Gay Nazis to start... (laughs) To start the Christmas 2017 special. Radio Fallout TV, welcome, Lee. Well, you've seen the outfits the Nazis were, Timmy. Those boots, those clean lines. You can see why the gears like those. Uh, (laughs) Designed by Hugo Boss. That's where he he started. And and he was was an unashamed Nazi till till he died, like in his 90s. I mean, he didn't sort of... After the war, he didn't sort of go, oh, I didn't really know what I was doing. He he said, no, no, this is what I believe. (laughs) I'm the boss, I'll do what I like. Yeah. Oh, so <laughs> just stop buying Hugo Boss. Yes. Other brands are available. That's us, Hugo Boss and Rolex, that's all we were, Timmy. Now then, did you like our opening credit sequence, or was it titles? Opening titles. Fantastic. And a Merry Christmas mm. to all the people of Howard and Bradshaw Directory and the general, like you say, people in the world. Happy Christmas, everybody. Hey, happy Christmas to all in the BL2 Golden Triangle. If you're listening in Brecht, McFarmouth or Little Lever, hit the red button now. Help is at hand. When is the next Hennigans, by the way? Last Friday in January. Come along, everybody. Lee's it's shouting funny. again. See, microphone, <laughs> shouting. No need. Anyway, <laughs> last Friday in January, Hennigans. People, somebody said I do this too often. Well, I like it. So there you go. At least you don't cough as much. And the reason, I, I, <clears throat> the reason I'm sitting here, everyone... <laughs> right on cue. <laughs> it's so that you're out of reach when we start throwing it's bunches. Because it's my show, and I can sit in the bleeding desk. Sorry, I can sit at the desk, and, and Lee... As my comedy sidekick sits slightly lower down on the couch, as in all good chat shows. Because he likes to feel superior in every way. Um, <laughs> in other news, Lee, the world's oldest person. 117 she was, Carmen Moreno or something like that. Moreno or uh, Anyway, and you think, oh, this will be a heartwarming story of, of, of a life well lived. Get, get a load of this for the quotes. My life wasn't so nice, she told Reuters. I worked in a factory until I was 65 and then that was that. She said her fiancé died in World War One, and that she'd then been forced to marry a man she did not love. He said, either you marry me or I will kill you. <laughs> recalling <laughs> recalling his proposal. I was 26. We got married. <laughs> he didn't kill me. It we was, lived happily ever after. It was not a happy marriage. They had a boy in 1937, but the baby died after just six months. It goes on and on like this. This Somebody's punishing that woman. She'd been put back on the earth because she was a bad person in a past life. That's right. <laughs> Probably not Hitler. But who got boss? <laughs> who got boss she be? She's, um, on the, she's on the German market in Manchester right German now. German <laughs> market. Um, the eBay pioneer, whoever started that whole thing, um, died recently, Lee. Did you know? Oh, I didn't know. Yeah. He had quite a dull life, really, but the last two minutes, it all went completely mad. <laughs> oh, oh, speaking of which, this is the Radio Fallout TV, local TV for local people, yes. official Christmas do. So we're going out after this for a, a good old frat round the uh, no name. Yes. So uh, for those of you watching it live... Johnny, we'll be there in half an hour. Get the pints pulled. For those of you who are watching it later on, it was great. Thank you. <laughs> are you implying that it takes Johnny half an hour to serve you? Is that what you're saying? You're going to get. I'm saying nothing fired. about the service in the no name. <laughs> Otherwise, that, Lynn will have you. That Lynn is the <laughs> finest, the most efficient, <laughs> friendliest barmaid I think I've ever, ever met. You could be done under the trades description anger, <laughs> I feel to me. I'll tell you what. I, oh, I got some Tourette's recently, Lil. 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 <laughs> At Lidl, I got some Tourette's. This is all good. You know, I'm, I have, I've had a bad knee, you know, for, it's just about getting better, thanks for asking. But, oh, you know, so the, if something, re- I nearly fell down a grid in Lidl car park. And so I swore quite severely. It involved an F, some vowels, a C and a K. Anyway, it was quite severe. And this woman was just getting out of the car as I was walking oh, past the her. child in the car. And I went, oh, oh. Yeah. Anyway, that was it. Went into Lidl, came out. As I was putting my trolley back, I lost my trolley pound. Under all the other trolleys, it went rolling down with roll. So I said the same. I went, oh, f- 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 the same woman is behind me. <laughs> it's like the a same, sitcom. The same woman. And so I, and I, I went, and she went, 
I thought, well, that's it. Now. I'm, I'm officially that, that Tourette's guy from Lidl. That's right. You'll be talked about in the uh, the streets of Great Mitt, Timmy. Guide dogs for the blind, Lee. Lovely creatures they are, Timmy. Yeah. I mean, how, it's, it's amazing what they do, it really is. What about blind dogs for guides? You know those little girls? They love puppies. <laughs> blind them in both eyes. Give them or the to, girls. <laughs> give them to the girls. No, no. I was actually thinking, what about, you know, because now they have hearing dogs for the deaf. Did you know yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Now, I would do they, I would like to, do they have a blindfold on the dogs to make sure they're not cheating? <laughs> Speaking of guides, I mean, I was in the, I was in the Scouts myself. I was in the Boys Brigade. I played football at quite a decent level. Yeah, but you were thirty seven years old at the time. I was. I was, and not one football coach or Boy Scout leader. What's wrong with me? What's wrong? <laughs> you see, and here I am in my forties. Still, nobody will tamper with me. I team. not only ruined that for you, but that was my <laughs> life from years ago. Thank you. Hey, speaking of uh, Catholic uh, abuse, Pope Francis. <laughs> Surprises survivors in Italian earthquake. Now, and there's a caption on your screens now. Um, now, the last, if you're buried under rubble and you think your, your end has come, the last, and then you they clear away the bricks, and Pope Francis, in his full gear, is, and he's leaning over you, going like this, you'd think, oh, well, that's it. That's the last thing. It's all on the international news. Let me know when you're on the local stuff, Timmy, the UK news. Oh, then a cheese thief arrested for shoplifting. <laughs> cheese thief. He's not just any old thief. This guy loves his cheese. Specialises. And he was, uh, blah, 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 blah. Vincent, oh, let's not give his name, anyway. Entered yeah. the shop and stole, wine. Oh, first of all, cheese and wine. This is a, a thief of some, you know, uh, cultivation. How old was he? Cheese Isn't and it? wine, 41. Oh, not that mature then. <laughs> <laughs> so he got he got wine, first of all. Then he returned to the same shop and stole cheese. So he obviously got the wine over and thought, you know what this... <laughs> What this wine really needs. <laughs> it's a nice brie or some camembert. Sitting, went back, sitting home going, oh, the biscuits. Oh, I've got and to go back again. And then he went back for more cheese. I mean, this guy. But that, but it, it reminded me of a story similar, not similar to this, another thief, an alternative thief story. The guy that stole, and I'll read the headline, opportunist nicks pot of gold in New York. <laughs> If you are going to steal something, make it a pot of gold, Tim. Was there a police, rainbow sprouting out of it? I police, mean, was he led to it? Police want to question the following individual. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> He's picked him, running away. Quick. It's mine, it's mine. <laughs> anyway, God bless him. An enterprising New Yorker. They, yes. They do say yes. if you can't make it in New York, you can't make it anywhere or something like that. Um, Lee, you love this. Bolton Wanderers free schools future under serious threat oh. after Ofsted rates it inadequate in all areas. Now all I saw was the words Bolton Wanderers and inadequate in all areas. <laughs> <laughs> we won four 0 yesterday. I won't have a bad word said about the Wanderers. Um, um, a story that caught my eye, not locally but UK based. Um, if I say to you FSU, what does that mean to you? FSU two. Yes, yeah, it's a fun firearms way. support unit. And in Northumbria, the firearms support units have been going around to German markets. <laughs> yes, with guns. That's fantastic. With guns. That's obviously, all that Germans need. Obviously, a, a, a terrorism uh, threat. So um, people didn't complain. We don't want to see guns around the German markets and these. Kind of things. So what are they? What are they doing? They've been told to smile more. Please, the Germans are the, the armed police. <laughs> the armed police. That's excellent. There is right. actually the, the, there is a hashtag for it. Hashtag smile for the BBC. Hey. So in order to uh, disarm them, they're smiling. Oh, very nice. A disarming <laughs> smile. Did he have on the back a sticker saying, how is my maiming? <laughs> um, well, speaking of Germans, Lee, you know, uh, an ex-father-in-law of mine had some very wise words to say about the Germans and the whole... Uh, he said, Timmy, give them half the chance to do it all again. <laughs> Another, another great local story, um, not that great, but Amazon up in Scotland, um, they have been um, <laughs> getting in trouble because the workforce are quite poor, can't afford, oh. blah, blah, blah. Been camping out in tents in a field next to Amazon. Do, to avoid going home and... and, and, and yeah, um, yeah to, avoid, to avoid the expensive run to and from into okay. work. So Amazon have been coming out saying, uh, no, no, it's a great place to work. Do you know what the, um, the warehouses are called? No. Fulfillment centres. Never. <laughs> no. Oh, that's, no, that's right. Helen, um, I was on a train the other day, Lee, and uh, I mean, it actually was. And, and this, the train, this is one of the weirdest train announcements uh, you'll ever hear. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, does anybody speak Chinese? <laughs> now, for, my first thought was, well, about a billion of them uh, do. <laughs> oh, you mean on the train. Anyway, so I thought, I thought, hang on, I'd give that a bash, yeah. Put my hand up front. I went. <laughs> What's in it for me? <laughs> I thought, how hard could it be? <laughs> he starts jabbering away. I know. I know. 
Yeah, that's it. That's Mandarin, I'm Cantonese. <laughs> I'll just pretend you understand what he says, and I just look at him and go, <laughs> Not long for you, Johnny. Ridiculous. Yeah. Also as well, I like the, uh, the, the drop into the hornless, though, because obviously Christmas time, hornless, old age people complaining about being lonely around that time of year. <laughs> this is great. Get the hornless people yeah. to go and live for that Christmas week yeah. with the old age pensioners. And then if a burglar breaks in, Two on one, <laughs> kill him, eat him. You mean the Gets pen- rid of the burglars? The, the burglar and the tramp killing the pensioner. Yeah, or whatever. Yeah, or whatever. whatever. It's, it's two on one. Cannibalism, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's a winner. Uh, I had an idea for a Christmas yes and no game, Lee, if you want to join in. Yes. How am I doing? Very well so far. <clears throat> young, no. Young men with beards calling each other fella. No. Yes. Tucking your shirt in to keep your kidneys warm. Yes. I like to put them into my underpants. Oh, yeah, in and your underpants. Yeah, it makes oh, yeah. you feel very I'm secure. I've no shame. My yeah. days of being in any way embarrassed about that guy, I'm well as well. Yeah. Shouting abuse at each other and calling it banter? No. Only there's a little bit of wit and repartee in that. No, it? these are morons with beards ah. and check shirts and tattoos shouting at each other saying, Bants! Bants! Ah, oh, yeah, no. Genial conversation over a few pints in the no name? Yes. Yes. <laughs> This is on the telly, Lee. I'm enjoying Narcos. On this is all on Netflix, oh, by the way. Very good. Get Netflix. Yeah. It's I don't know how much it is. It's great. Uh, the Expanse. If for those of you who enjoy sci-fi and video games, it's a bit like Mass Effect in TV form. Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Great theme tune. Unbreakable theme tune, Timmy. It is indeed the Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt on Netflix. From the same stable as 30 Rock and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I believe we've covered blind dogs, popes in earthquakes. We sorted out the homeless and the loneliness of old age people. <laughs> I think that's a great it? idea. Yes. Put, the, put the tramps up at old people's houses. Yes. Yeah. Um, but I think that's it, Lee. It only remains for us to say, Johnny at the No Name, mine's a Joseph Hultz. Get pouring now and we'll Cheers. be right in. I'll, be able to watch, I'll have whatever Timmy's buying for me. <laughs> Happy Christmas, Lee. And Merry Christmas to all you lovely readers, listeners, viewers. Cue music. Cue it. Unbreakable,